to a lot of events. Sometimes you have thousands of people to turn up to. The great thing about wrangling this is it gives you a real sense of authority. And if you shout at people through this, they, they really take you seriously. I think my parents were very wonderful and supportive. Initially were encouraging even if they were raising an eyebrow. Like my, my dad was, you know what, at least it's a good it's a good laugh. Like I've got a good story about my ridiculous son um, when I go out for dinner with people. And they like jelly as well. Well, yeah, they, they say they like jelly. <laughs> we started five years ago and Sam and I were convinced that we had the greatest thing to hit the world ever, which would be jelly. And we went to Borough Market, which is London's sort of biggest food market for foodies. And uh, we approached Borough Market and said, look, we've got this great idea. We're going to make and revive fresh fruit, Victorian jelly. Said, are you in? And they said, well, actually, they didn't even reply. This summer, Bombs and Bar have a crazy golf course on the roof of Selfridges. By making uh, London landmarks that look like cake, in fact, two years ago to Selfridges, they turned around and said that the very idea itself is ridiculous. They thought that, that golf balls would be flying down uh, from six stories above Europe's busiest shopping street and braining people milling about below. But this summer, uh, we worked out that we could net all the way down the roof, literally about half the length of Selfridges itself, a full city block, and stop people being injured by errant golf balls. No, I think that sometimes you go on personal adventures. And for me, it was making the St. Paul's Cathedral jelly mould. It's 0.5 mil thick uh, copper that's silver plated on the inside. Um, so normally moulds are tin plated, but it had to be silver because it's quite complicated form. And this was, um, it was electro formed over a mandrel made out of wax. So it was quite a challenge to do that, but there's only two of these in the world and the other one's in a museum. It's sometimes important to just reflect that actually five years ago we were sat at my kitchen table making jellies in Tupperware um, to serve for free to Boy Scouts who didn't particularly want to eat them. So, you know, it's, it, it's good to just bear that in mind um, when we're very, very worried about uh, the ambition and the scale of the next project we're working on. And are about to embark on possibly our most ambitious project to date the Mercedes drive through. Going to the drive through will effectively melt people's brains and then hit them with a hammer on the tongue with feral food. I guess the experience would be like going in a grand hotel through hyperspace with clash and clamour of lighting, marble, and fine foods. Um, it should be pretty wild. Mm -hmm.